Testing, testing, one, two, three. We are going live, uh, continuing my run on Dark Souls 3. Um, Joey mentioned he might jump in later, but I kind of just want to um, just get to it. Like I said, I would start around 7 o'clock, so here we go. Let me see here. Uh, yep, still there. Hopefully the stream will run a little bit smoother this time around. I, uh, I took the time to lower all the settings, so it should run better this time. Um, there shouldn't... There, well, the keyword being should, there shouldn't be any uh, stuttering. Let's see here. Quality's good. Oh man, the first thing I'm doing is leveling up uh, endurance again. Good lord. 16 is pathetic. A second, do a quick little check on everything else. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna click off of Twitter real quick. That'll do it. That'll do it. Ow. I hate these guys. It's always about the whole the flailing and screaming and all that stuff. Oh, right. I gotta press A to pick up stuff, not, uh, <laughs> not Y. Elden Ring. I may never take off the basic armor for that the entire game. Yeah, everything's running smooth. I was a little worried about it last time. I will try my best. I like to think I'm pretty good at Dark Souls 3. I don't know, I'm not like speedrunner good. Uh, I, I like to think I'm at least competent at it. I've soloed every boss in the game. Multiple times, I, I might add. Um, that being said, the only real challenge with this run is gonna be, um, I'm only gonna use the basic, uh, the basic longsword throughout the entire game. Oh, this place sucks. Usually just bum rush through here. I, I try to like take my time with everything. Like I wanna be able to like, properly comb through, pick up every single item. I, I'm just, I, it's just the way I play these games. I've always been kind of obsessive. But yeah, there's a dude down here that's kind of a pain in the ass to fight. Hopefully I can take him out quickly. Did he just throw poop at me? Bye! He drops the Brigand Daggers, but you know what? I don't really want to... Oh, wait, no, it's right over here. I'm tripping. <laughs> Elden Ring probably drove you insane then. Elden Ring definitely did push my limits on how far I wanted to go with, like, collect everything. Because I did it twice. I, I play, I'm working on my third playthrough for Elden Ring, and I'm definitely feeling that burn of, like, fuck, this is just too much stuff. And I kind of, like don't like Elden Ring for that reason. Because, like, people like me, players like me, who feel the need to collect everything, um, Elden Ring is just too much stuff. There's a lot of fluff in Elden Ring, and it makes it hard for me to come back and play that again. 
Ugh, I really hate having low endurance. I really need to fix this. You beat Dark Souls 3 a ton of times. Just feel like when you play it, it's fun enough. You just... <laughs> I play it when the game is fun enough to, like, draw you into beating it. Yeah, no, no. I I've, I've played Dark Souls 3 to death. I think I have a approaching 600 hours of uh, playtime on, on Dark Souls. It's one of my favorite games. It's been over a year since I last played it again. So I'm curious to see how it holds up after playing Elden Ring. Alright. This area is a little bit of a trap if you are new. To oh, oh, okay. Well, bye. What's supposed to happen is the two dogs jump you at the same time, and it's kind of like a lot to deal with all at once, especially without a shield. <laughs> I see the Dark Souls 3 still has a lot of jank in it. You think it's a better overall game compared to Elden Ring? No, no, I, I agree. I, I think Elden Ring, play I've, I've played it three times now, um, Elden Ring is fun. It's a fantastic game, but it's, it's got so much bloat in it that it makes it hard to revisit. Whereas Dark Souls 3, I can replay over and over again. I, I think in that case, Elden Ring has a lot of bloat. Too much stuff is not necessarily a good thing. You gotta know where to cut. I'm gonna turn the volume down just a smidge. I can't even hear myself think. Right, there we go. Yeah, these guys kind of suck because they flail a lot. Yeah! Alright. Let me see here. Let me know if I'm getting frame rate issues, although it shouldn't happen this time. Um, I, was, I was careful to make sure all the settings were, were turned down and the resolution was correct this time around. So it shouldn't get any frame drops this time around. I'm getting a pretty steady at 60 FPS right now. Uh, oh, hey, look at that. Got a level up. I'm 20 souls short. Seriously? All right, fine. There we go. Uh, yes. Um, I'm, I'm planning to make it refined. I already have the refined gem. I'm just waiting to level up a little bit before I use it. Speaking of which... Hello, helmet. Oh, hello. How do you do? That's the helmet I want. Of a store. Unkindled like you. This is Horace, a friend and traveling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? We're well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the crucifixion woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep. We seek the cathedral, home of the grim Aldrich. We um, the the gender of of uh of Henri changes depending on the, the gender of the character you play. So if you're male, she's female. If you are female, he's male. And as you can tell, I'm a lady. Yeah. Oh, yes. He's not very talkative, but don't think ill of him. He's an upstanding, kind-hearted knight. Without his help, help. Well, thank you. We are well along beyond. We may the next made up. May the flames guide your way. Yes, okay. Let's go level up. Ah, traveling back every single time you want to level. I don't miss this about the... I don't miss this about the older Souls games. Drives me crazy. You didn't notice until the end of it? Uh, no, I have a tendency to usually play ladies. I do play male characters too. I, I like to switch it up. Welcome home. I should speak then. Very well. Then touch take none. So right now I need I need endurance. I keep running out of endurance while swinging and it's driving me crazy. Next up is dexterity. I should make the play. I am Siri. Duties we I doubt with much blessing. Oh, okay, cool. I doubt with much blessing. Can't wait to get your armor later. Bye. But yes, this area coming up is really frustrating. There's a lot of us. Uh, there's a lot of like asshole moments 
that I just don't care for coming back to, so hopefully we'll, we'll be able to speed through relatively quickly. I'm gonna try to minimize um, farming if I can help it, because there's just so much game to cover already. On average, I can finish Dark Souls 3 in about 30, 30 to 35 hours. Especially if I know what I'm doing. Oh, these guys are frustrating. That's right. I have to attack with the strong button on uh, Dark Souls 3. I think I remember there being... Yeah, that's right, there's a shiny over here. Titanite Shard. I probably should avoid fighting these guys for the most part. Yeah, because they do this. Ha <laughs> ha! Nope. Not worth it. There's a lot of gank squads in this forest, so we're just gonna we're just gonna skim right through them. And they don't really drop enough souls to make it worth fighting them. Oh, didn't go down. Uh, nope. The whole place is chaos. Yeah, it can be. The dogs are the worst pro are the biggest problem. There's just too many enemies in here. Rude. Okay. I think I don't know if there's any other shinies in here. Oh wait, there is. Let's go get that shiny. Titanite shard, yes please. Ah, don't poison me, please. I don't remember if there's an in if the invader comes in here or on the other side before I get to the I get to the save point. No wait, he only shows up when you go out into the lake. I should be okay. Okay. I do know that the poison swamp is where I'm gonna get my Havel's ring. We'll check out the temple in a second. The uh, ember that Hodrick drops is not really worth fighting him because he'll perfectly parry you over and over again. So we're gonna skip him. Okay, got my S's shard. Again, really frustrating that I have to go all the way back to the uh, Firelink Shrine if I just want to upgrade my, my flask. They gotta make everything all complicated. When the hell do I get my composite bow? Hmm. Guess this will have to do. I only have two, I only have two arrows left, god damn. I really hate this guy. <laughs> I tried jumping attack. I tried to jump and I forgot this is this is a uh, Dark Souls 3, not Elden Ring. Right, back away. Stop that. Really fast and aggressive. Gotta make sure I get the hit in first before he starts rolling. Okay, so far so good. Very few ways to attack with initiative in this. I seem to be I seem to be holding up so far, like okay so far. I, do you remember where to get the composite bow? I cannot remember where to get the composite bow. My brain just kind of turned off. May as well pick up the witch set while I'm here. Yeah. 
very long attack window. You gotta get the Dream Chaser's Ashes. Oh yeah, that's right. It's been a little while. Uh, the Dream Chaser's Ashes are in um, are in the swamp. We're a little bit further away from that. It's behind an illusory wall in the watch. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know where to go now. Thank you. Rude. Do your slam. There you go. Why do you have so much HP? Oh god, I'm definitely getting rid of that. Alright, auto lock on. We're getting rid of that right now. Good lord. Turn that shit off. Thank god there's no monsters in this game. Hey, giant crustaceans in general are just a pain in the ass to fight. They're always hard to fight. Not sure what the hell they were thinking when they made them like that. That's strange, he's not showing up. The invaders should show up any second now. Where is he? Grass Crest Shield. Cool, not gonna use it. Okay, this guy's kind of a pain in the ass to fight. Hopefully I can take him out. Okay, so he always comes in from the side, and he has a uh, spell that makes him invisible from far away. Oh, there he is. Man, you got a lot of HP. Right side, he has very low stagger. He's gonna run out of stamp flasks. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I didn't even need to fight you, I just wanted to. Crab. Ow. Crab scarier than the spirit. Yeah, exactly. Stop that. Yeah. I don't remember if there's a stealth mechanic in Elden and Dark Souls 3. Buzz off. Uh, let me see here. Please don't. Oh, he aggroed. Okay. Ah, messed up. Keep your health full. Stop that. No stealth at all. Okay, so that, that, that hasn't been introduced yet. So you need like special spells in order to uh, unlock stealth in Dark Souls 3. 
That's right, I remember now. The stealth mechanics in Elden Ring are bad. They're not good, but they're not bad. Hmm. My equip is not high enough yet. We're gonna stay away from the Black Knight because I don't really want to fight him right now. He's a very scary man. And more importantly, I'm after this. This gets me access to refined, uh, heavy, and keen uh, uh, pathways. I can't remember the name. What I can't remember what it's called in, in Dark Souls Three. <laughs> you know, I want to fight him. Got it. Most dungeons were super easy because of stealth and agility. I, I had trouble with the dungeons personally. Like I, I wasn't like struggling, struggling, but it, they they definitely got me quite a few times. Um, as for like sneaking through the dungeons, I haven't really experimented with that too much. Stealth and agility. Like, what do you mean by that? Did you just like run through or something? So, uh, before we continue, before I like answer that question, before you answer that question, mine. So this next session coming up is these two guys. I can't stand these two. They're awful because they they force you to fight the, the two of them at the same time, which is a pretty dick dick move from the game devs. So this is what I do now instead. So if the game's gonna be a bunch of assholes, I'm gonna I'm gonna asshole back. Here, come after me. Oh, shit. Okay, well, they got me first. Ah, uh, <sighs> Wasted an ember. These are hard to get, too. Yeah, the, the, climb down the climb down the ladder trick is the preferable pathway. For some reason, he climbed down the ladder instead of, uh... Stop! For some reason, he climbed down the ladder instead of jumping down. Let's try this again. Ah! Let's try this again. Oh, dick move. Okay, so he just followed me down. Well, shit. This is new. Usually he just falls off the side, but nope. Yeah, the poise on him is ridiculous. This is why I don't like to fight him if I can help it. Yeah, see how tough you are without your friend, asshole. All right, that's one. Seriously? All right, fine. I guess I'll fight both of you. Hey. Nope, gotta stick to speed.
Ah. Well, that wasn't nowhere any. That wasn't anywhere as de devastating as I thought it was going to be. Okay, he's in asshole mode right now. I gotta watch out. The. Oh no, you don't. Stop that. All right. That's new. Usually they just they just fall off the side and die, but I guess they got I guess they got a patch this time around. Whatever. We are adaptive. Uh, making me go all the way back. You have to play dirty in a Souls game. Sometimes. I, I try to avoid cheese if I can help it. Let me see here. Let's go with dexterity. I need a little bit more damage. I'm short 2k. Hmm. Short 300 souls. Is what's his face back? No, he's not. You just use the coolest things, even if they're bad. Yeah, I, I kind of share the same. I, I kind of share the same attitude too. I'm not really too worried about meta. I, I just wanna, I just wanna do the cool things in the game. All right, that did it. Okay, let's get a little bit more. Uh, get a little bit more endurance. I really hate running out of endurance in Souls games. Do you have more free souls for me? Yeah! Let's just double down. Let's see here, am I beef jerky yet? I am not beef jerky yet. My goal is to get all the free levels and then uh, heal the heal the curse and then just make sure I have a uh, a thing to take out the take out all the hollowing before I unver undo the curse. Otherwise, it'll be way too much. Back there, babe. Love you. All right, back to it. It is good to see you in good health. What needs Smithy this day? Used a fight now, praise the <laughs> There we go. Uh, we want to infuse. I think my stats should be high enough to be able to get a benefit from making it refined now. I can't math very well. Is that more? I'm not sure. I don't have enough. I don't have enough souls anyway. Try to aim me, I don't want. Ah, oh, I'm still too poor. This should do it. Bam. Okay, refined longsword. Uh, I think that does more, but you know what? Close enough. I'm not gonna fret over little details okay, like that. Okay. <sighs> Don't need this anymore. Don't need this. Never using these. I get a little uh, driven crazy by having too much stuff in my equip load. It kind of like bothers me. So I try to keep that down to a minimum if I can help it. I believe I've taken care of everything, all the little things in Crucifixion, Crucifixion Woods. That just leaves the boss fight now. So let's go after the witch. Great. 
<laughs> this sucks. Guys, this is kind of a lie. Alright, where was I? <laughs> they gave me another long sword. What's that noise? I was under the impression refined was the best was the best damage source for for a quality build specifically. Dude, seriously? Fuck yourself. Ah, can't catch a break right now. I really want my composite bow, god damn it. Magic and faith builds are awesome until you run into a, build, a boss that are resistant to everything. Yeah, that was a big problem in Dark Souls 3. Um, Dark Souls 3 was just was not having it for, for, fa for faith and magic builds. Um, they were probably at their weakest in this game. Uh, I remember I had my, um, my spell casting, my uh, Dark Moon Greatsword build on, the, on, this, on Dark Souls 3. I had to quit when I got to uh, Sister Free Day. I couldn't do it. I couldn't beat her. Her resistance was so high against magic that I basically did zero damage to her. I may as well have been hitting her with a Whipple Bat. Yeah, it's one of the few times that I have not finished a, a Dark Souls run because the, the build just was not doing enough damage. I just gave, I basically gave up. I always try to do a Dark Moon, a, a Moonlight Greatsword build, and this time I just couldn't do it. It really bummed me out. The Moonlight Greatsword is one of my favorite weapons in Souls. And I always try to do at least one build with it. It's iconic. Yeah, exactly. I know there was a summon here. That's funny, I had no idea. Eh, tempting, but we'll skip. Let's go back and uh, top off my drinks, and then we'll prop we'll do it properly. Because uh, I ain't got no drinks left. I'd rather go into the boss fight with eight drinks than three. We'll just run through next time. right. That is something I do miss from Elden Ring. Uh, having unlimited stamina when you're running 
Oh god, this is so frustrating. Running out of stamina while trying to run to the boss, make the boss run. I got very spoiled by that. It's not worth it. Keep going. I do okay damage. It's hard. I can do this. Uh, I probably should back off a little bit. We'll do it without the embers. I'm gonna piss through all of them if I keep trying. Come on, be tired later. I'm a knight. I wear knight armor. All right, so far so good where things get tricky. Well, that's a classic in Souls. You always get them when they're down to like one nail clipping, one nail of uh, one nail clipping of health left, and then you just can't get the hit in. That always happens. All right, third time's the charm. Here we go.
The boss is a little luck based. Eh, I know. Can't be helped. Not something I have any direct control over, so we're not going to complain about it. On the bright side, it doesn't have very much HP. It's a fast boss fight, I just gotta close the gap sooner. Alright, halfway there. much. you gotta know when to back off, right? <sighs> I wonder, am I beef jerky yet? I'm not beef jerky yet, okay. Seven thousand. Welcome, up. speak very well. Then take me. Let's pump up health just a little bit. Now, make the finish. More endurance. Farewell, I now have. I, I'm pretty sure this is about as much endurance as I'm going to need for the rest of the game. I don't need to worry about it anymore. Next up is more health, more damage. Gray Rat, you back yet? There he is. Took you long enough. Oh, hello. Oh, it took some to go on. Okay, let's see here. Sells a short bow, but not the composite bow. That's what I'm after. Hmm. Goodbye. Oh, this <laughs> I would then shall bearer of the dark sign. A little bit more HP. Be safe. I think I got like maybe two more levels I can get out of him before he before he croaks. should go through the swamp first, I believe. The swamp is uh, where all the goodies are at. The problem is, is that the swamp is full of really strong enemies as well. Maybe I'll go through the cathedral this time. Because uh, the cathedral just does provide me some, some a little bit more, a little bit more souls to level up with, and I should get some better, uh, I should be able to get better flash opportunities too. I'll at least pick up this. Normally I come to the swamp first, but um, I kind of need this more. What's going on, XL? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a mad dash right for the uh, the tower. 
the tower is where I want to go first, because um, I need to get the uh, Havel's Ring. Edgy boy. Alright. I'm not gonna be too concerned about collecting everything right now. First things first is to uh, just get to that. Get to that tower. We'll do a proper comb later. Also, I hate this place. It's not worth it. We're going to keep rolling. That's cruel. Yeah, I know. It, it, Dark Souls 3 does have its mean moments. But again, I'm a little underleveled for this area right now. My weapon's a little underleveled, and I'm uh, not quite as high as I should be. Because the, the thing is, these enemies hit really hard. So it's better to have like sufficient equipment in order to deal with it. Yeah, I'm only using a plus two longsword right now. No wonder I'm struggling. Upgrade my weapon. Let's upgrade my weapon. And then we'll come back and uh, go get the um, the Havel Ring. Havel Ring will take some pressure off and I'll be able to get the composite bow too. Ah, just good did what need. Get your widgie in a digi. Hopefully I can take this guy. Keep ruins. Ugh, I hate this place. Alright. Started Cuphead DLC and defeated three of the bosses in two of the King's Pawns. Awesome. No, the, the DLC is a fun little time. It, it took me a couple days to finish, to go through it. I, I took my time, though. Um, I, I'd say it was, it was fully, it was completely worth the purchase. I'm very satisfied with the purchase. This is what I came here for. It's 
struggling against Mr. Ice Wizard dude because that last phase kind of sucks. No, the last one's is the last phase is awful. Um, I still can't beat him on expert just yet. I, I I took a break from the DLC bosses to work on S ranking everything else. I'll get back to him later. Dream Chaser's Ashes. Get the bonfire. Let's go get the Havel Ring now. You'll get him. It just takes a little bit of practice. I am excited for training tomorrow. Now for you. grab. You won't feel fall asleep in the middle of the day and miss half of it. Well then plan ahead for it, dude. If you know that you are capable of, of if you know you're, you are capable of making a goof somewhere, then plan ahead. Plan ahead for a possible goof. I like it when you show up. You don't have to, but I appreciate when you do. Know thyself. <sighs> you just won't lay in bed. Okay, there you go. You're displaying a form of self-awareness of your own behavior and planning accordingly. This is the way. Okay. Ooh, I got a large Titanite shard. Hell yeah. And I got another one. Okay, that upgrades my weapon now. Perfect. That's just what I needed. Just what I needed. there's anything else here that's really worth uh, scouring for. There we go. Let's head back now. Should have a homeward bone on me. Perfect. Ashen one, what woeful umbral ash is this? This barren dust, stuff of a fool. Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? 
Oh, yes, I'm clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world. It must come from one most foolish indeed. Wouldst thou not agree? <sighs> I actually never was able to find out who this guy was. Who was the uh, dream cha dream chasers? Uh, who was the dream chaser? Got far as hell. Yeah, I would say I'm a little. I, I would say like I'm barely one fourth of the way of the way in, Joey. Uh, by the way, I'm in chat if you want to talk, FYI. But otherwise, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go it solo today. Let me see here. Where's my composite bow? There it is. There's my baby. One. Okay, that's one. I need more arrows, too. Uh, upgrade the weapons, then buy the equipment. That is good, wasn't it? First things first. Uh, I probably should get my bow leveled up, since this is such an important piece of equipment I'm going to have with me. Pretty be careful. Don't get your widgey in a digi. More Titanite shards oh, will come later on. Let's go with... Large arrows. Standard arrows would be a lot cheaper. Um, preferably if I am going to shoot something, I want to count. So... Screw it. I don't want to keep buying arrows over and over again. Goodbye. We're supposed to be her son. Well, that's pretty dark because she was all talking. She was all talking shit on him. Like, man, this guy sucks. Oh, I fucked up. My brain just turned back on. I remembered right now the whole reason why I came back to. Oh well, I forgot to get the havel. I forgot to get the ring. Hopefully, I can still afford it. Ah, so. Cost five thousand. Of course Treat it does. The 5,000. Can I afford 5,000? Crystal Sage turns it into a spell and a weapon I don't care about, so we're gonna use it. 3,000. That's pretty bad. Um, this turns into a sword that I'm not gonna use. Damn. Uh, I could sell the cracked eye orbs. These are, th these are worth 500 pop, I believe. Yeah, no problem. No pressure. If you can, you can. If not, don't worry about it. Ah, how I understand you just got off. Uh, you just got off a stream, so that's no problem. Damn, I need to make two thousand. Um, well, obviously I need that. Screw it. Ashen one. You need to eat. Yeah, probably should do that. I took care of all my calorie needs earlier, so I don't plan on eating for the rest of the night. Yeah, there we go. I really needed this. Okay, now I don't need to. Wor now I don't need to worry about uh, vitality for the rest of the game. Pretty much have all my 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 uh, all my bases covered. Let me see here. What's a good ring for now? Uh, this will do for now, but I don't really need it. <laughs> Only eating ass from here on out. <laughs> right? Okay. I think we're gonna go to the cathedral first. For the first time, I'm gonna go to the cathedral first instead of the, the poison swamp. I mean, it is a zero calorie. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, we're gonna go to the cathedral first. Normally I skip the cathedral, but we're gonna go here first. Is the weight percentage always there? You always do the cathedral first. Yeah, I have a tendency to go to the poison swamp first, but um, it's probably smarter to do the cathedral because the enemies here are a little bit easier and the boss here is a little bit easier. So it's a better opportunity to, uh, to get some souls and strengthen yourself. Usually put off poison swamps as long as possible. That sounds probably logical and strategic. Because you need more health and, more, and better stats to deal with all the bullshit that's in it, right? 
I, I don't know why it took me so long for me to realize. I probably should hold, hold off on doing the poison swamp. But I always do it first. I don't know why. They're all like, I'm, I'm a big dude. I just flail everywhere. Oh yeah, huh? That's right. One of my favorite armor sets is coming up. I love this thing. I might, I might wear it immediately. <laughs> ah, thanks for that. Yeah, I want to get I want to wear that cape. Hell yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about the the neck exposed like that, but it'll do. And it's a little bit lighter. Perfect. These mobs are fucked because most most are complete pushovers and then one variation is like super stacked, right? <laughs> Yeah, Dark Souls 3 so far has been holding up pretty well. I'm not, I have no complaints so far. Like, um, yeah, some of the enemies are kind of tough, but I, I've been dealing with it pretty well. For now. And smashing the fuck out of it. Yeah, I'm okay. We'll see. I, I, I got brick walled for a little bit against the, against the, the mage. Cool, I can use that for later. <laughs> Bow switching on point. Uh, the, the the witch lady thing that you know that does duplicates and then jumps all over the place. Sometimes you gotta double down on attacking. But no, this is my layout. I always have a primary weapon, a bow, and a backup weapon, and sometimes a shield depending on the build. But I always have this setup with me at all times because um, it, it keeps me prepared for every situation. bow makes you lose light roll. Yeah, I'm not really worried about maintaining light roll. That's the point of a knight. I'm, I'm gonna be a little heavy. <laughs> Daddy needs his light roll. Yeah, it is fun being able to just zip around everywhere, but I kind of just wanted to keep it a basic, you know, just medium roll uh, playthrough. Like, if I get to a boss fight where I'm legit, like, getting, like, brick walled, I'll switch to over to a light roll mode. How much damage mitigation exists in this compared to Elden Ring? Yeah, armor actually works. Crazy, crazy concept, huh? That single hit would have not done like 50% of your HP in a light mode. Yeah, armors? Yeah, you may as well just stick to light roll in Elden Ring, huh? But again, everything's super overtuned in Elden Ring. It's really frustrating. Ugh. Oh, he's not locking on. Dude, can you not? There's another dog around here. The dog is the biggest threat. Let him chase me down in here. Rude. Oh, this sucks. Right, 
cover. That's one. Where's the other one at? Where's that other dog at? Oh, okay, well, I guess it's gone. Whatever. <laughs> From soft games, dog is where is always the most terrifying enemy. Except for Sekiro of all games. I'm shocked at how easy the dogs are in Sekiro. Not a threat at all. Should be an Etz's flask over here. Oh, hi. Not yet. I gotta talk to fake. I gotta talk to fake uh, Ziegmeier first, and then he'll pop up. PlayStation? Uh, no, PC actually. Remember one time I accidentally I accidentally killed uh, uh, Gale right here, and then I, I got cut off from the DLC for for that playthrough, and I was so bummed out. We're gonna activate the bonfire just for, for now, but I'll come back to it later. Oh, now my lady, I need you to show her a proper if you. Thank you. They of Ash. I'll be right back. Let me turn the light on in the back. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandale. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. Touch it. Got Gale over here acting like a fucking creep. I feel like talking to the creepy guy hanging out in the hanging out in the rot. We will do a proper comb of this area later at the end of the game. Not right now. This place is way beyond my current level. Is it here? No, 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 I'm tripping. Uh yeah, the chapel. The cathedral is such a cool concept for a stage. Like, there's the, the, the level design here is just so cool. I love it so much. I forgot to, to apply my new flask, but I don't really need it right now. We'll, uh, we'll pop it in later. It's not going anywhere. Did I buy a torch? I did not buy a torch. I probably should go back and buy a torch, huh? It's one of my favorite weapons in Dark Souls 3. Store a great sword. But I'm not gonna use it this time. I'm sticking with just basic longsword.
The Executioner's Greatsword is back here. Oh, crap. Messed up. Should be right here. Good. I need... Oh, wow. I got a lot of upgrades I'm just sitting on right now. Okay, I need to upgrade my flask, and I need to pick up a torch, and I need to apply my bone ash. I'm uh, doing this the stupid way. There we go. Buy a torch. I'm gonna need it. Hello again. I have said, for one, I too, I hear that if I can be blessing of them. If you should have blessing. Ah, well. How may I be? Grace, let I only uh, uh. Let me see here. Torch. Ashen one. And upgraded flask while you're at it. Ah, it is good, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, All right, go. cool. Moving on. I don't think I've died yet. That's my hollowing. I'm at level 12 hollowing. Am I beef jerky yet? I'm not beef jerky yet. Not using that. Actually, the shields might come in handy. Do this properly. I'm not gonna need a backup weapon. I am gonna need a torch, though. What I brought this for specifically for you. I hate these guys. I think there's a goodie down here. I can't remember. Nope, just a shortcut. Ah yes, the Grave Warden. You think someone who's so like unsick like sickly and like skinny looking would not put up such a fight, but here we are. Why do you have hyper armor? That don't make no sense. Ooh, 
Another undead bone shard. I'll take it. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Forgotten about this. I think that's... Yeah, just these two. I don't really need them right now. I will later, though. Let's get the shortcut activated first. And this is, there's some goodies downstairs, too. Forgot about you. It's pretty gross. There should be a crystal, there should be a crystal lizard. Yep, there it is. And then one more over here. Chase him into a corner. Should be a big ass lizard over here. I just realized uh, there's no third upgrade material, third type of upgrade material in Elden Ring. There's only two, just smithing stones and somber smithing stones. That's it. I had forgotten in, in Dark Souls Three you have the you have a uh, Titanite, Twinkling Titanite, and uh, the the Crystal Lizard, whatever Titanite, whatever this shit, Titanite scales. I'd forgotten about this one. Yeah, Elden Ring simplified things a little bit. There's only two types of upgrade pathways. I am starting to get a little beefy. I need to spend the to spend these souls. In Bloodborne, there's only one. Yeah, that's right. Blood, uh, blood shards, right? And that's why Bloodborne's the best game, because it doesn't have. It gets rid of all the. It gets rid of all the fluff. I still hold that Bloodborne is the best FromSoft, FromSoft uh, Souls game. Completely removes all the fluff. Gets rid of all the unnecessary excess details that aren't really needed. Welcome just gets to the best part, the gameplay. I mean, the lore and story is awesome too, but the, just everything about it's so good. The only weakness that, that Elden Ring, ha Elden Ring, Bloodborne has is that the blood vial system having to refill manually by buying shit, having to buy them is very frustrating. I really miss the Essence Flask system in that sense. Or 
more damage. Oh, I'm only a thousand short. In that case. Welcome, I'll speak very well. Then top take me. Farewell, maiden. Let's see here, did I get a level up? Oh, I nope, not yet. Safe. Materials my carrying. Uh, I still no. Nope, I need large titanite shards now. You can farm enough to get through the whole game. I understand that, but the key word there is farm. Whereas in Souls games, typically you can just sit down in a bonfire, bing bang boom, you're good. You don't need to worry about anything else. Pick it up. Okay. Shortcut's been activated. Let's get going. That dude with the bent back looks like a witch boss in Bloodborne. The bent back. Um, you'll have to point him out again if you see them again. I'm not sure who you're talking about. Like the grave, the the grave warden. Dude in the hub area. Uh, oh, him. He does look like the witch, doesn't he? Yeah, Yuria. Yuria of Londor. Yeah, I know who you're talking about now. Okay. I guess he does look a little bit like something out of Bloodborne, doesn't he? I was so rudely interrupted. Right. Don't need this anymore. I was really wishing I had this instead. Damn it. that uh, drop down on you. Pretty frustrating. Gotta make sure they don't get the drop on me before, they, before I get them. Rude. Double rude. What's going on, Seth? Just uh, playing some Dark Souls.
Dude, seriously? You know what the worst part is? I knew that was gonna happen and I still fell for it. Shredding through this game. Yeah, I'm doing. No, I'm not doing too bad. Well, I appreciate it though. This is just like a normal run through for me at this point. Like I, I just, I'm just following the script. I know what to do. I had forgotten he falls on you. I just put my shield up just in case. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else up here. There you little shit. It's the uh, priest man I'm a little worried about. Forgot about this one, but I was ready. Bro, seriously? Whatever. shot. Can you not? Always with the going ape shit and crazy. Like, why is that? Why does that skinny asshole have hyper armor? Why? Ugh. Forgot they track you pretty hard on that one. goodie over there and I want it. <laughs> I keep tapping on the on the uh, joystick to try to go into a crouch, but I forget that this isn't Elden Ring.
Oh no, you don't. That's what I was waiting for. Dude, seriously? Hyper armor's through that too, huh? Got an ember. Yes, please. There's something oddly therapeutic about not having to listen to, not listening to any like background music at all. I, I kind of hope, I, I, I kind of hope that the next FromSoft Souls game decides to go back to that quiet ambience again. Because um, Elden Ring, as much as I enjoy the little little jingle playing in the background whenever you're in a dungeon or out in the field or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, it can get a little distracting sometimes. Whereas, like, when you're playing Dark Souls and it's completely quiet, there's something weirdly therapeutic about it. Or zen. I mean, if you guys want to jump in chat, go ahead. Got the deacon skirt. Very nice. Oh, right. Um, let's go downstairs first. Take care of... I believe there's a, there's a goodie down here that I want to pick up real quick. I hate you. Let's go activate the shortcut, and then I'll uh, head through the cathedral. Ah, forgot about you. <laughs> forgot about you. It's okay. Got, can't be helped. All right. And that should be shortcut number one. <laughs> Quit fucking backseating. Nah, Seth's been cool. He's been cool. All he's been doing is just been, uh, give me some encouragement. <laughs> Fuck off, <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not at Pontiff yet. And, um, Pontiff's not gonna be for quite a while. I, I could, I don't see myself fighting Pontiff for easily another two or three streams. Like, I'm moving pretty fast. I don't know if I'm gonna be at Pontiff that quickly. Extended hitbox is awful. HP! One more. Ow. Rude. Shame your game camp is, is over the overlay instead of under it. Oh, for real? Ugh. 
So when I'm talking, when you guys are commenting, is like, is that is my face literally in the way? I could have sworn I fixed that. Doesn't seem to be in the way now. Oh, my game cam is over the overlay. Okay, so I must have put it on the wrong layer. Um, we'll have to fix that later. Move it under the overlay, but over the cloud background. Oh, okay, so I must have screwed something up. Let me see here. So, so move it under the overlay, but under the cloud. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Let's see if I can fix that. Like this? How's that? How's that? Okay, I fixed it. I got him. I got him a little bit off uh, margin. Okay, thanks for pointing that out. I thought it was okay. I couldn't tell. Lloyd Sword Ring. I believe this uh, boosts my attack when my HP is full. Hell yeah. Thanks for pointing it out, though. I, I miss stuff like that sometimes. I don't even need this, I just want it. Uh, my brain just turned off. Oh right, I gotta go upstairs first. I go this way. Upstairs is where the, the dude's at. Or the preacher lady, and I can get a pick up a shiny and an ember, I believe. There's a preacher lady waiting for me because I can hear her slamming her gavel around. Ow! What hit me? She was just standing. She was literally just existing in front of me and suddenly I took a hit. What happened there? <laughs> She's all like, the club can't even handle me. Eh, <sighs> whatever. I don't expect the Lloyd's uh, sword talisman to go off that consistently, but it would be nice if it did. This is not very reliable. It doesn't really recover that much HP. Okay. I love this game, but it can be jank sometimes. Alright. Where are you at? Okay. And then there's you. Oh no, you don't. Aw oh, man, I lost my bonus. I'm sad now. And then there's this asshole. There's two little imps that are in the corner over there. I'm gonna get invaded the second I step out into the water field, so let's take care of them first. Oh, never mind. Longfinger Kirk is like, it's my turn right now. I 
ideally I should try to lure him over to me. That way I don't. That way I can avoid a gang a gang fight. Got a little greedy right there. I kept getting bounced. <sighs> well, at least I have the shortcut. That's a lot of souls. I'm gonna go get him back. And we're killing Longfinger Kirk, because fuck him. I need to be a little bit more mindful of my spacing. I got bounced a couple times. And that uh, that screwed up my hit streak. I could have finished him off right there. He fucks everything he touches. <laughs> that was my fault. I, I, I should have backed off and let my stamina recover, but I was greedy. I just wanted to finish him off. For, I wanted to finish him off quickly. I don't think the other guy aggros. At least I don't think he does. I don't think I'm being attacked by anything else. Yeah, go fuck yourself. That's kind of a lot of souls. Probably should activate the shortcut. Even though I want to keep sweeping through the rest of the cathedral, I probably should do this first. Get a little greedy right now. Nope, wait, actually there's something else I need to do with this money, so I'm going to take the gamble and hold on to it for now. I do have a couple of rings of sacrifice right now, so we'll hold on to it. We'll keep it equipped, and uh, we'll we'll take the chance right now, because I'm gonna need the 20k later. I feel I hear a chonky boy clomping around. Here. There's a 
Weaver and the Poopy over here. Is anything over here that's really wor worth too much significance other than like a handful of homework bones in this uh the main set but you know what we're gonna pick it up anyway because that's what i do i just pick up everything i can't help it Biden, and I believe there should, should be there should blah, 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 there should be some uh, homeward bones right here. Perfect. Okay. <sighs> Why are you like this? After eating three slices of pizza, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get my six pack back. I'm, I've been having to avoid that kind of stuff lately. I had some pizza last week. It was okay. Something's missing right now. Wait a minute. I'm missing a lever. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the compliment, but like my standard of like what I place on myself or what my like what I, my goals are are way stricter than most people's. Uh, I'll have to post. I'll have to post what um what my goal is essentially in, in the fitness channel. I'll sh I'll send it later. Just give me shit. Yeah, I know. But yeah, I get that. Everyone's always telling me, Frowny, you're already in great shape. What are you talking about? Like, no, you don't understand. I'm in okay shape right now. I want to get back to peak physical condition. I want to get fucking shredded. Oh, that's always a fun feeling. Dude, can you not? This move to Chicago will be the fittest, guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can't seem to shake the feeling I'm missing something here. Where is the last... Am I tripping? I'm not tripping, am I? I got both bridges up, right? I, I don't remember how to get the third bridge up. Do I get this? Do I get that one up later? So I'm talking about this one right here. I could have sworn there's a way to pull this bridge up. I, I don't remember how. Did I miss a lip? Did I miss a lever? I'm terrified of Seth and his fitness arc. Yeah, he's a big dude. That'd be cool. You'd be like a pro wrestler if you got, like, fucking jacked. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. I don't know where else to go for that last uh, lever. Am I tripping? I don't think I am. 
All right, whatever, we're gonna move on. I can't remember if there's any other place I, I'm, if I'm not looking. Because I, I don't remember how to get this, uh, get this bridge up. And if anybody remembers, give me, let me know. Because I, 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 I think I, I got everything taken care of. Rude. Dude, can you not? shittiest fight in the game is taking place in literally shit. Dude, stop! Alright. It's like poetry, it rhymes. Shit Souls 3. Just, just constantly fighting and poopy. Drang armor. Uh, the great sword guys I'm a little afraid of. They're pretty scary. I'm gonna try to avoid aggroing them if I can help it. A lot to lose right now. Well, it's like wrestling where you run at each other, specifically one holding a ball. Yeah, I know what rugby is. It's been a little while, but I know what rugby is. And the front door is now open. Hey, look at that! Got the shortcut open. Again. You don't think you'd ever play sports? Well, yeah, I mean, wearing glasses is a legit concern. I'm not really a big, I'm not really a big glasses guy either. Like, uh, like, what I mean is like, um, I'm not really a big sports guy either. I had a Freudian slip, that's funny. I actually like glasses. Um, I'm not really a big sports guy either, unless combat sports count, like like martial arts. But other than that, I'm not really um, I'm not really big on sports. I did take wrestling when I was in grade school, though, and I took judo in college, so I have a little bit of uh, experience with grappling. <laughs> we'll take a motherfucker down. <laughs> I am a knight of Katarina. I've managed to track down this cathedral store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure. Hmm. Always so close, yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, did you just... I know. <clears throat> I love it. I love it. Like the, the the voice actor for Patches, they were he was instructed, I want you to sound like Patches and also sound like Ziegmeier. <laughs> Shame on you, you greedy guts. Thought you could outwit an onion. Well, say hello to the nice giant. He adores visitors. Big joik. Where's the old giant? What? What does the bloody giant? This fucking took me out on my first playthrough. Have you no shame? Damn. Damn. Damn and damn. Damn, damn. 
Okay. Now that we've uh, gotten Patches' quest line taken care of, now we can do the next part. So Patches is going to disappear. He's just going to fuck off into some unknown location. So we got to go hunt him down. This next section is really frustrating and annoying. Hopefully I can do it on at least the first or second try. Because, uh, falling sucks. It's me, Siegfried of Katarina. I'm loath to admit it, but I've been... Someone's swiped my armor. Did you happen to see it? Oh, not to run. An old tent. And I... Aha! Okay, so we gotta go find his armor. Platforming in souls. It's a, it's a horrifying concept. Like, you, you put up with it, but nobody actually... I, I can't recall a single person who actually likes platforming in souls games. Played your whole you played sports your whole life with glasses? That's brave. Super fucking expensive. I mean, no, no, that's that's a perfectly valid, uh, perfectly valid concern. I don't, I don't blame you at all. all right. This next section stresses me out. Hopefully, I can do this on on the first try. Fucking souls platforming. What a horrifying concept. I don't even remember what the deep ring does. Ow. Rude. Dude, can you not? guys this entire this entire ceiling segment is just annoying you have to kill everybody because otherwise they'll chase you down and push you off the side that wasn't supposed to happen <sighs> so I tapped B twice on accident so I double rolled it, it, it like did that it did that shit where like it like queued up and then kept and kept the uh, kept the roll in queue and then decided to go again even though my fingers were away from the button so that was my fault I still have one more ring of sacrifice I really need to make sure that I keep my money Alright, let's try this again. The frustrating part is getting is getting the money to buy Zigmeier's uh, Zigward's armor back. I need to have it ready to go. You would basically just play blind. Wow. Uh, I mean, I guess for school sports or like unpro like non professional setting, that's that's okay. But yeah, I don't know if they they like let that let that fly in a professional setting. Probably not. Dude, stop! He he literally hit me by just standing there. I love Dark Souls three, but it's so jank. There's a lot of there's a lot of gank squads in this area. Yeah, fuck it. Representative rugby players are pros, yeah. Let me see here. I think there is a, uh, I believe the Arbalist is down there, but I don't really need it. But you know what? We're gonna pick it up anyway. Oh, my 
sword's currently just barely able to uh, kind of one-shot right now. Stop. All right, now we can work our way over. Okay, that's not a hidden wall. Um, I gotta work my way from the front entrance. Is it over here? Yeah, here we go. I hate this place with all my hate. That's not even the scary part. <laughs> of course there's multiple of them here. Why wouldn't there be? Why wouldn't there be? Fall off the stage! Fall off the sta- Ugh. It'd be really great if you just fell off and then died. That would save me a lot of trouble. No, 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 Get your ass over here. Yeah, great. Okay, I'm gonna have to fight him. Ugh, they're gonna make things difficult, aren't they? Really bad time for my game to start freezing up. Six five two ninety running that fast was quite good. That's crazy, actually. Oh, now my game decides to start getting slow down. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm getting serious lag right now. Holy shit. It's like turning into it's like turning into a slideshow. I don't know what it looks like on your end. Yeah, I'm getting massive lag right now. God damn it. Why did it have to be right now? Where the fuck am I? Here? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. I see it. It's not too bad on your end. Yeah, I'm getting extremely high lag right now. I'm turn my, my game's literally turning into a slideshow. It was running so good, it suddenly just became shit. Oh, oh I'm so regrettable. Look at you. Paul's well that Yes! <laughs> oh, ah, just a little trick. Probably memory leak. <laughs> you should it seems to be buffering back. If you... All right, this is what I saved. This is what I took so much risk for and saved all my money for. Okay, there we go. We're back. I don't really need anything else. Thanks, sweetie. You'll jump on if you're still if you, if I'm still playing. Yeah, see you in a bit. That piece of shit. Come on, load you fuck. <laughs> Let's 
back. I'm not going to uh, use the key just yet. I'm not going to use the, the soul of the Firekeeper just yet, because I want to get a little bit more... Um, I'm going to extract a few more levels out of the... Out of the... Oh, I'm beef jerky now. Oh, I... Then shall bear. May as, well, may as well get a few more free levels while I'm at it. Let's just make the oh uh, all will be safe. Okay, so I'm beef jerky again, but it's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna undo it pretty soon anyway. get uh what's your face of Yondor to of Londor to show up and that'll get me the opportunity to buy a uh, a purging stone because um I hope this is not gonna bite me in the ass later for a super expensive oh, undo undo button Art thou good yours, master? everyone's favorite souls game or OST I am Yoria of Londor a close uh, friend that's a good question thanks to the your soul allow me to ex Another map, that a lord, That's a good a question. Lord. I'm not sure. I really like the OSTs in every single Bearing Souls game. The time. And I... Does she sell a purging stone? Yes, she does. They're just freaking expensive. Reduces undead curse buildup and cures hollowing. Okay, it's 4,500. Till we meet should be able to afford that. I need at least one. Speak I desire, honorable lord. Till we meet may the dark sigil. Hey, quick question. Do you guys have like a AFK channel on um on the over on the choices of overlay? Because I gotta use a restroom. I, I'm gonna be AFK for like maybe like two, three minutes. Um which one do I pick? Intermission? Be back soon. Okay. Be right back. Alright. Or just use the intermission one. All right, yeah, I guess I'll be right back.
And we're back. Okay. Back to it. Right, I just bought the key, so I want to uh, first... I first want to unlock the tower. Any second now. Any second now. There it goes. Piece of junk. I forgot about you. Out of my way. All right, where was I? As I was saying, we're gonna go up the tower. Go activate, go pick up the, uh, the Firekeeper's soul so I can undo my beef jerky state. And this time I'm going to make sure that I undo the hollowing first before I attempt to cure it. Because, uh, it's expensive to undo. I'm at 20 hollowing right now. Embrace the jerky. No! I don't want to be beef jerky. I refuse. Is, why do you have to be like this? Getting out of here is kind of a pain in the ass, too. It's important, though, because I want the ring that's in this area as well. It's very useful. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're amongst your own. Plenty of company, right? <laughs> oh, by stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> okay. I always have trouble with this jump. I hate this one. It's like, you can't quite commit too hard. Yeah, like that. You gotta jump a little bit earlier than what you think you should. <sighs> Whatever, I can always get more embers. Oh, whoops. That would have been useful earlier. Oh well. I wanted the ember more than the souls. The souls are really not that important. Come on, any not any time now. <laughs> Bro, fuck this job. <laughs> yeah, this one's mean. Um, I, I had trouble remembering specifically the exact parameter that you have to get to, but if, if you want the Etsis ring, you have to do it. You have to do it, and I do need the Etsis ring for later. I want to say it's like right at this square, I think. There we go, got it. Okay, Firekeeper set. 
And I should survive this. Yeah, there we go. There, not too bad. Two tries. I'll take it. So I want to give her the Firekeeper soul and then use the, uh, so okay, let, let me just get this straight. So I want to use the Firekeeper soul, then use the Purging Stone to reduce the cost to, to reduce the, the, the hollowing, or do I want to use the, the, the Purging Stone first, then give her the, uh, then give her the, the soul? Because um, the problem is, is that if you don't, if you're hollowed, Getting rid of the curse is really expensive, like 50,000, like, rune, like 50,000 souls. It's really, really expensive. And I only get a chance to, to get a Purging Stone right now. It's going to cost another 4,800 if I, um, if I do this now. If I don't do this now. I want to say you use the Purging Stone first. I've actually never done it like this before. I have 25 hollowing. Yeah, fuck it. Welcome, Hubsby. Ashen one, much light, then let it fuck, she will understand. Forgive me, may the flame. See, this is my problem. This is my problem with, with taking the free level ups, is that undoing the curse and getting rid of, uh... Getting rid of the, uh, the... The, the dark sigil... It is absurdly expensive. It costs, like, 54,000 souls. I can't afford that right now. I'm gonna have to go farm to get rid of that. That's the reason why I don't like to take the, I don't like to take the, the, the free levels. Because getting rid of this shit is gonna come back and bite me in the ass later. Honorable. Let me see here. In order to get rid of it, reduces undead curse buildup and, and cures hollowing. Tell me to make the dark. So let me see here. I have currently. Where's my uh, hollowing at? Oh yeah, it's it's currently clean slate. It's all gone. So I don't know what you're talking about, Joey. I don't know what you're talking about, this, uh, Seth. I, I don't know what you're talking about, how it is, it's always really easy to get rid of the sigil. No, it costs fucking 50,000 so souls to get rid of it. So every single time I die, I'm gonna turn back into beef jerky over time until I get rid of it, and I don't want that. But whatever, I guess I got, I got five free levels. Cool. Whatever, I'll deal with it. At the end of the day, I'm the one who chose to follow through on it. <sighs> oh, whoops. Okay, 50,000 souls. Well, to be fair, this is how much it was going to cost for me to level up anyway, so I may as think of it as a loan. Now I got to pay it back.
Okay. Next. Next up is the uh, boss fight, for lack of a better term. I don't know what what on earth you would all, what on earth you would call it, but it ain't a boss fight. died on this one the first time. I mean, to be fair, like when you don't when you, if, when you don't know what to expect, yeah, you might get you might get overwhelmed. It can happen every once in a while. But when you know what it's coming, it's really not that. It's pretty easy. One of them was this one. That's funny. It happens. Ugh. I'm annoyed about that. I'm, an I'm really annoyed about the, uh, the hollowing. Getting rid of it's gonna be annoying. I died on- I died against Vort. Vort got me a couple times. Alright. Let's work my way through this. Longsword's just a really good weapon. God damn. You know what? We're gonna summon. Just for fun. Cause this fight's already really boring and like, just kinda like, eh. We're gonna summon. Cause I'm casual trash, but we're gonna summon. Yeah, no, normally on quality builds, I usually just stick with the longsword until a bigger, heavier sword comes along, but... We're gonna just, I'm just gonna stick with the longsword from start to finish this time. I normally never do this, so I just wanna see what happens if I stick with the, dark, the longsword. Didn't realize it was super overpowered. Eh. You got lucky enough to get the, to get the dark sword to drop. Good for you. Man, they're not even worth that many souls either. <sighs> this fight's terrifying on New Game Plus 7. I've never played New Game Plus on, on a Dark Souls game before. 
Um, usually what happens, like, what happens every time whenever I beat it, I beat the game on Dark Souls, I just, I make a new build. I proceed to just make another build. Yeah, I've never played New Game Plus on Dark Souls before. Every single time I beat the game, I just immediately proceed to go and make a new build. <laughs> I just never got around to it. What's the difference? Only played up to New Game plus, uh, plus four. My understanding is that the enemies get stronger and everyone hits harder, right? Welcome, home speaker. Uh, 54,523 souls. Well, one. So until I level up, until I hit, um... Until I, uh... Get the, um... Souls that I... Oh, so every single time I level up, healing the curse is gonna get more expensive. Wow. How may I be of so? So that's gonna be my first priority, is getting rid of the curse. 20,000, so that'll put me at... 35,000. You know, you're not there yet. You'll need more. Ashen one. Oh. You play Nude Souls, so you're always basically playing New Game Plus. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm good for you guys. I'm glad that you're able to do it. But I get bored just running around in light roll mode. I need to be able to express myself. It's not enough to just... For the game to be mechanically exciting. I need it to be, like, visually exciting. I always, like, every single build that I make has, like, a whole ass, like, concept that I have in mind. Speak, I desire. Honorable Lord of Hollows. Obsessed, oppressed frowny? I don't get it. Hmm. Tell me. Yeah, I, I always play for fashion souls. That's always my first priority. You need them light rolls. I should be fine for the most part. Even even uh, Nameless King, I, I managed to get through without without using uh, Light Roll. We spoke before. I'm well. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep. The man he left his left for his trip. The little doll in the empty coffin told Aldridge is set to hail from Irithil. A pilgrim told me, and so becomes our destination. Just make your character look like Jill. <laughs> If only. Ah, that's right, I already have the small doll. Alright, off to the poop dungeon. Poop swamp, here we go. Let's get this out of the way. A survival horror based build would be kind of fun to play around with. Use like a, use like a, uh, just use like crossbows and shit. I did make a bow build, does that count? That was fun. Playing through the entire game with just a bow. Very interesting experience. I swear to God, I can tell if my light was off in the slightest. Eh, I guess I'm just used to medium roll. I don't mind it. For the sake of the of the uh, play style, I'm gonna stick to um, I'm gonna stick to just having medium run. You've done no weapon, Dark Souls, Soul Level One. That's that doesn't sound fun. I mean, it's impressive you did it, but it doesn't sound very fun. Dude. At least these guys provide pretty decent experience points. Yep. Torch number one. I believe there's four of them in the area. Uh, 
I hate it here already. Watching is a walking only run on Elden Ring last night. And Belle was saying, how the fuck is this even fun? Even though she watched the whole thing. Yeah, I'm not sure how people find the patience to do stuff like that. Like, it's impressive, but like, I don't think that's very entertaining. To me, anyway. I don't find that very entertaining. There's, I, got, I gotta have some kind of catharsis from, it, from the gameplay that I'm getting there. I hate these guys so much. Oh, I hate these guys when they run at you and they do their little head pole grab. Fuck them. I hate them so much. So I need to hit roughly 30... I need to hit roughly about 30,000 souls before I can pop the uh, other uh, great soul that I have on me at the moment. Soul level 1, no weapons, actually fun because it was basically just bosses. You don't have to worry about fighting the trash mobs. Fair, fair. Now for me, clearing the, clearing the map out, like, I have a little, like, weird thing in my head where I need to clear the map out before I can move on. Because, like, I, I kind of don't like that to a degree where, this is especially true in Sekiro, where you could technically just run past everything. You don't have to fight anything in Souls games. And a part of me doesn't like that. Like, I want to have an incentive to fight the enemies in the area. I mean, of course, for the experience points, that's important too. But I, I like fighting enemies. I want to, like, display mastery of the area rather than just run through. Yeah, I, I feel the need that I, I need to show that I've actually proven, like, I understand the map. And I actually understand the area enough to, like, kill everything in the area. That's important to me. Like, I don't want to just run past everything. That's not the same experience. <laughs> You've beaten Dark Souls 1 so many times you needed the, uh... Sp I don't know, I don't know what, the, what that, what you're referring to right there. Can you re can you retype it? Ah, great. Ugh. Feels like something's missing if I just walk past the enemies. Exactly, exactly. You guys understand me. Okay, I'm gonna do one more lap on these guys, because, uh... I need the rooms. Dude, can you fuck off? Actually not they're not bad and they're not a bad amount of souls they're dropping right now. But uh just for the sake of keeping the pace up, we're gonna just call it there and we'll keep pressing forward now. I still need thirty thousand more souls. You like spice in your games? Okay. I like spice too. Spice is my favorite. Thing. <laughs> What's this fucking mantra? Oh god. I can't remember what else is in the center of that. Uh, What's in the center of the swamp? What I do know is that this place is a pain in the ass to navigate. 
and uh, I need to be careful. Hit light roll right now. You gotta give it a 25% equip load, right? I'm pretty sure you can hit 25% equip load. Well, I'll keep the Ferris hat. Internet is dodgy. It's still a fucking poison swamp. <laughs> I didn't mind it too much. Like, Blight Town's still one of my favorite poison swamps, actually, surprisingly. But that's because there's usually, like, Antidotes that are available. I really don't care for this one too much um, because of the uh, the slow roll the, the fat rolling is really frustrating here. Like you can kind of deal with it in Dark Souls 1 with the rust ring, but here you have to fat roll and that sucks It makes replaying the game really frustrating when you get to those fat roll sections Like why do they make it like this wasn't the poison enough? Friendship. I still need about 3,000 souls, and I'm short by one more torch. All right, I know what's coming up. I think I should go in from behind instead. Oh, 
fighting these guys is really frustrating, especially in the mud. It's not worth it. Go around. Giant bow dude is awesome. Yeah, no, he came in on the clutch right there. You know what? You're right. I'm gonna try to work my way towards the light roll. I think I might be able to make it. I just gotta I just gotta get the appropriate armor. But first things first, I wanna get rid of the I wanna get rid of the curse first. Crap, 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 crap. Crap, 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 crap. Crap, 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 crap. Stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. Oh my God, I literally cannot hit this little shit. I literally cannot hit him. He keeps fucking dodging everything. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> bad place to fight. Fuck off. it was worth it. Go fuck yourself. Alright, this next part, I know it's coming up, and it's an enemy that I'm afraid of. If I try to run past him, he's gonna marble gurble me, so we're just gonna kill him. I hate that guy so much. The second you try to run away from him, he'll close the gap and grab your face. So, the way to get through is just push through him. <sighs> okay. I can't remember what, if anything down here is worth chasing down. there's anything else out here that's worth uh, chasing down. Shit, 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 shit. Can 
I believe that uh gets every I believe that combs the entire area now. Let's head back. Let's go cure my curse. I think I have enough. Dark Sigil has been healed. Oh well. Okay, got rid of it. <clears throat> Let's see if I can actually hit Light Roll now. I'm curious about that. I need to wear something very light. Preferably under five units. This might work. Yeah, hitting 25% equip load is going to be pretty much uh, impossible with armor. I'm going to have to get something very, very light. Unless I just went naked, but that's not quite the same thing. Nah. We'll get there later on. much of a difference though yeah I believe it's 25% and up all the way back up towards uh, <clears throat> over 70 before you um, get into, it takes you need to get under 25% in order to get under fat roll get out of fat roll hmm Thus forsworn the Lord's mark, there is not much. Farewell. Ah. Thus forsworn, there is not. Farewell. Dang, we're at the three hour mark. So I think this is a good place to stop. Eh, nah, I think I'm gonna stop here. Seems like the it seems like the uh, the the stream is kind of tapered off a little bit anyway. You know how it is. No audience, less in, less incentive, less exciting to play. But I, I mean, I originally stated that I wanted to shoot for at least two hours and three hours, four hours. Um, but I think next week start kicking off the stream with um with the the abyss watchers will be a good way to kick things off. But yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. Anyways. I'm going to call it here. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you later. All right, next week. See you next week. Bye.